Welcome to Agents of Screen. We are here live at Box Park Croydon. When we heard they were doing a Stanley tribute, we had to come down to check it out. To us, Stanley meant so much. Not only did he create characters such as Spider Man, X Men, Black Panther, Daredevil, etc., but he's possibly the reason this channel even exists in the first place. But on that note, let's go and find out what the people of Croydon think about Stanley. Mm. Here live at Box Park. We're here for the Stanley tribute. Avengers Infinity War is about to start in about 20 minutes, and we have someone, a fellow Marvel fan. Who do we have here with us today? Uh, name's Daniel. Uh, my name's Asha. Asha and Ariane. Yeah. Asha and Ariane, two A's. Yeah, two A's. A for Avengers as well. And Shoot, Tenor from Northwest London. Northwest London? So, what are you doing down here? Well, you come to get our pizza. It's a great event. So, you know, you got to travel when there's um, something memorable. Are you guys Marvel fans? Yeah. Yes? What's your favorite Marvel movie? Favorite Marvel movie? Black Panther. Of all time? Mm, yeah, definitely wow. the most I recent one. I definitely ones. know which one's mine. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, the first one. Really? Yeah. That's a very uh, unpopular opinion. I really? No. I prefer Guardians to the Avengers to be fair. Guardians are so, so funny. And then Black Panther, and then Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is on the list. It's in your top three. I like Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is really? It's wavy. I'm, all in a <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. Black Panther, like, said it because the storyline was great. And I think it also brought a different movement with, you know, the ethnic group. Yes. Because they just felt empowered. So to me, that was one of the great ones. Big Marvel fan? Massive Marvel Massive fan. Marvel fan. Massive Marvel. What was your favorite movie this year? This <laughs> Any movie, it don't have to be Marvel, it could well, be any no, movie this it's, year. It's only ever gonna be one movie, it was Infinity War. Oh yeah? Yeah, from start to finish. I've never seen Hulk hold so many combinations. That's very true. To the point, his inner, I don't know if I'm gonna say it, but his inner bitch came out and he's oh, like, shit. I don't want to come out of Bruce no more. <laughs> I was like, what? I was disappointed. Oh you man! Think he's gonna redeem himself in, the, in number if, four. He has in to. in the, in the name of Stan Lee, he has to. Uh, speaking of Stan Lee, would you say anything about the man himself? About what Marvel has meant to anything at all you'd like to say? I think there's something really cool about just bringing superheroes, which have always been on like pages and in comics and like separate universe, to now such a mainstream audience and. Like, it's so accessible. Even Black Panther, it like blew up the blockbuster office. And it just goes to show how important like representation is and stuff like that. So, and it's amazing that like a superhero movie, like, I'm sure Stan Lee, when he wrote the comics, he didn't think, well, this would just happen. But now, taking over. I used to watch like the old, old cartoons because my uncle's a massive Marvel fan. Okay. To a point that he named his cats Stan and Lee. Wow. To the, exactly, wow. exactly. Wow, wow. He schooled me on it before I actually knew about the whole Marvel Studios okay. coming to coming to life. I, mean, I was fortunate enough to have uh, my father invest in comic books, okay. so I've read pretty much uh, most of his work from a young age, as young as like eight, nine. So you can kind of understand in my older years when technology came about and they had a chance to, you know, use CGI to, you know, create, recreate yeah. uh, what he did on the big screens. You know, I became, you know, even more embedded and memories from childhood came back seeing it in the business. Yeah, he kind of opened everyone's eyes because obviously you've got the two different universes. You've got DC and you've got Marvel. Yes. And within DC, they don't give you that, that mindset of you can be whatever you want to be because of the concept of, I don't know if you've seen um, his interview where he talks about Spider-Man. Yes. Saying that once you put the mask on, you can be whatever race yeah, you want to be. But Spider-Man in his real life is just an average it's guy. Just an average guy. Job, there you go, and he's trying to make ends meet. And then you've got the concept, he puts a mask on, he can go from building to building and be Spider-Man. But underneath it, he could have been a black guy, a white, like the new movie that they're going to bring out yeah, at the yeah, end yeah, of this Mark year. Morales, yeah. It could be any form. I'm going to miss Stanley's cameos. Yeah. 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 Do you remember any of your favourite Stanley cameos that you made? Uh, yes. The one in Spider-Man, where they're like fighting and he's just like... Yeah, that was so funny. 
and for those of us back in the days when we were known as the nerds yeah, of comics, you know, yeah. now it's it's cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, cool it's now, actually it exactly cool. before you would, you know, be thinking, okay, I'm gonna read this one in my home yeah, yeah, yeah. in my bed because I don't want to have to like knock someone out because they're <laughs> calling me names. But right now, it's it's now open culture, and that's um, that's part of what he did. And I think he was a pretty cool guy as well. Stan Lee more or less made the the comic book life a little bit more real. Okay. Made made your imagination do what he wanted to do. Because obviously you got you, you got your similarities between the two universes. But for me, Marvel always had that I can relate to sort yeah. of thing. So we've heard what the people of Croydon had to say about Stanley. But what about yourself? What memories do you have about Stanley? But if you ever want to come down where we have good food and movies, Box Park Croydon, and they do a classic movie night every Monday night, so be sure to come down. You might even see us down there. But until next time, I am going to enjoy what is the culmination of arguably Stanley's greatest work, Avengers Infinity War. Until next time, peace. Go away, man. <laughs>